ciao from Italy. <laughs>so excited I just was in Tahiti in French Polynesia for the last like week and a half and I just got to Milan today I am on a really really cool brand trip in Italy and I didn't vlog while I was in Morea or French Polynesia which I was kind of sad about I was on a creator trip with 14 other creators Blaine was there um, and it was so great but we were doing so much content that I just like never vlogged and I was kind of bummed about it and I knew I wanted to do a vlog from at least one of the trips. So I'm gonna vlog Italy, but I just had a 21 hour travel day from Tahiti to Milan. I flew Tahiti to LA, eight hours, LA to Paris, 11, and then Paris to Milan, one and a half. So I spent like 20, 21 hours on a plane today. And, um, I'm here now though, which is awesome. So I'm here working with Avani Hotels. This is the first ever like brand trip, like being flown out and doing all the things that I've ever really been a part of and I'm really excited. So I'm gonna vlog and bring you guys along with me. I'm back in the motherland, of course. Haven't been to Italy since we lived here. So it's exciting to be back. And like I said, I just got here tonight. And so this is like, I got here at like 8.30. We had a welcome dinner at nine. And then I literally just got the chance to like shower, rinse off my first time taking a shower in two days, brushing my teeth in two days because I've been on a plane. Um, but I want to give you guys a little room tour and then of course bring you guys along with me throughout the week while I'm in Milan and Venice. Okay, I'm gonna start with a little room tour. You just have to disregard all my stuff because I really haven't had time to put everything away. But this is my room in Avani, Milan. I got here to this like, see if I can get some light. Ooh, this beautiful welcome basket and I have closet. This is really interesting. I've never had a hotel room with multiple stories, but there is a second level to this room. Up here we have a little couch and another TV. And then this is my room. This is a really quick trip. I'm only in Italy for five days. And so, but I thought it was cool because I was already traveling when I was in French Polynesia and they were like paying for the flights and stuff. So this is a great way to see some new places. I've never really been to Milan. I've only traveled in and out of here when I was living in Florence and I've never been to Venice. So I was like, this is fun. This is a good opportunity. This was kind of a last minute send, but I'm really excited to be here. And I'm just excited for this time. There's a couple other influencers here all from different countries. So it's really fun to get to meet new people and yeah, just get some like solo travel time. I was in French Polynesia with like 14 creators. So it's kind of nice to have like my own space, a little quiet time. And yeah, so I just had, like I said, a, it was like an over 24 hour travel day because I took the ferry from Morea, spent the night in Tahiti by myself, traveled all day, all night, all the next day, and now I'm here. So I really need to sleep. I'm not tired, unfortunately, because my body thinks that it's like 11 a.m. in French Polynesia, but I just took a NyQuil because I need to go to sleep. So I'm gonna go to sleep and then I'll keep you guys updated with my first full day in Milan tomorrow. So I'm glad you guys are here with me. I'm by myself. So this vlogging is kind of keeping me some company. And yeah, let's spend some time together in Italy. Good morning, Milan. Oh, I'm asleep right now. Just woke up. I actually, right now it's like 8.30. I actually woke up at like six and was up for like an hour and then fell back asleep, but I'm so tired. I had alarm set for like 7.30. But my phone died. My phone didn't charge last night. So my alarm's canceled and I ended up waking up at like 8.30. Luckily I woke up at all. My first activity of the trip is I'm doing a biking tour around Milan, which will be really fun. And that starts at 10. And so I'm gonna get dressed really quick, go downstairs and have breakfast, and then go on the bike tour. I need a coffee. I'm so asleep right now. I feel like I'm like not even real at this point in time. But I'm glad that I got some rest last night. That was so lovely. So let's get ready for the bike tour. And let's wake up a little bit. <sighs> Okay, just had breakfast and a coffee and I feel way more awake 
that I did before that. Um, trying to find my lipstick right now, which is why I'm on the ground. I am about to go on my cycling tour of Milan, which I think will be really fun. A good way to see the city since I've never really explored Milan. The rest of the people I think are, like everyone has a different itinerary for today. So I am like more on the wellness lifestyle itinerary. That's why I'm doing the biking tour. I did not have the itinerary for this trip when I packed for Tahiti. So I really like feel like I didn't pack that well for Milan. And I was just trying to like pack for Tahiti in Italy, which is like two totally different trips. But I'm wearing these little jeans, top jeans little sneakers because I do need to be able to bike. I'm gonna do my best to try to vlog while I'm on my cycling tour, but you know, I get shy. Like at breakfast, I was vlogging just like silent. Like I was not yapping, but um, yeah, let's go on this cycle trip. Let's do the cycling tour and I can't wait to show you more of Milan. I think because, uh, uh, I mean, you've been in Italy, so you've been in Florence, you know? Yeah. And, um, you know that this is not like typical Italian, no? No, yeah, for but sure. It's the only okay, tour guide. Hello. Hello. <laughs> wow. And what building is this one? This one is the Unicredit Tower. It's actually the tallest building in Italy. Wow. Well, he made himself better, maybe. I would. So basically, yeah, this guy was really smart. Uh, because the, the app. We're from the States. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Caramelo salato is also good. Gelato before lunch. Typical. Okay, just finished our cycling tour and me and my tour guide are eating pizza together. This is honestly best case scenario. He's so, so, so sweet. And he said he was a pizza connoisseur and I told him, show me the best pizza. And I was gonna have to go eat lunch by myself. So this is perfect. Here's all the pizza. Like, look how many pizzas. So he just picked what we got. This one is? Uh, this one is uh, uh, prosciutto mozzarella, ah. prosciutto crudo. Yeah. And this is margherita, uh, the classic one. The classic one. Cheers. Okay, I'm running so late, but I took a nap after my cycling tour and I literally woke up with like five minutes to spare. So the next thing on our itinerary is I'm going to a lipstick lab where you, I think, create your own lipstick, which would be really fun. I just changed clothes and I'm about to head down there. But I'm gonna bring you guys with me. I'm running so late, but I think this will be fun. So let's go. Base differently from the other. Um, has just one pigment inside and the temperature in order to be just right uh, mm. uh, for the waxes and butters to melt down. I just finished mixing my lipstick in the lab. I wish I could have a video of what I was wearing. I'm going to put a picture of it right here. And now we're going to wait seven minutes for it to solidify and then my lipstick will be done. This is where we picked out the fragrance of the lipstick. She makes the colors, I showed you guys that. And then you get to pick the shape and I picked this diamond shape. Oh, that's so cool. Ciao. So I did not vlog at dinner at all. I ended up going to eat with the UK influencer that's here from London and her mom because otherwise I would have been like by myself I haven't even seen the rest of the group today We all had like different itineraries based on like our personal likes which I think is really cool It's a lot of brand trips. It's like everyone just does the same thing My alarm didn't go off for the makeup lab and then I came home Changed like freshened up and then went to dinner. We just went to like an Italian place down the street and I had lasagna, it was so good. I'm gonna show you guys. Where did I just put it? Gosh, I'm going crazy right now. I'm like losing all my stuff. I wanna give you guys a lipstick reveal of the lipstick that I made because I don't think I videoed on my camera the final product and then I had to wait two hours for people to put it on. So I'm gonna do like a first reveal. But this is the, let's see, you can see it. Oh, wrong one. I have like a B engraved in the top, which is super cute and then this is the color that I went for. It has this like diamond 
effect, which I think is really cool. It was funny because the girl in the lipstick lounge was like, she was really sweet and she spoke English, but like, I was like, oh, maybe this. And she was like, oh, I think that. And then I was like, okay. So this is basically like the lipstick she designed. <laughs> um, but I like the color. It reminds me a lot of like Pillow Talk, kind of like the color of my lips, honestly. Um, but I love a really natural lip. Like I always wear like a pink, really natural. So I think that's really pretty. Yeah, I like that a lot. Um, so that's my lipstick that I picked and I just got back, I washed my face. I'm about to take a shower and I have to pack my bags because tomorrow we leave for Venice. And I'm so excited because I've never been to Venice and I always thought when I was living in Florence, like, oh, it's kind of a bummer I didn't go to Venice because everyone always asked me if I've been there. So, um, yeah, we leave tomorrow. We only had two nights in this hotel and then we have three nights in Venice and then I go home. So we have a pretty early wake up call tomorrow to get ready and go on the train and head to Venice. So I'm going to go ahead and pack my bags tonight, get in bed and sleep because I'm still so tired. Um, but that was my day and I hope I did a good job vlogging, honestly. Don't know if I did. It's hard when I'm around people that I don't know to like whip up my vlog camera and start speaking. But yeah, that was my day. Really enjoyed it. Um, it's been nice, like kind of being in my own by myself, like in my own energy. But I was glad to go to dinner with them so I could get some like socialization in. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get ready for bed. I'm gonna go to sleep, and I will see you guys in the morning before we go to Venice. Good morning, guys. I actually look put together today, and I'm not rushed two wins of the day. Um, I woke up this morning at five. Yeah. And um, couldn't go back to sleep. So I curled my hair. I'm posting a TikTok about it, but basically in the most like ratchet way possible because I don't have a compatible curler. So I was essentially just letting my curling iron like smoke and then unplugging it and curling my hair. But I just got dressed. I'm wearing this cute little top that I thrifted um, for this trip in San Diego. And I'm getting ready now to go down to breakfast. And then we leave and get on the train for Venice. And I'm really, really excited. I think Venice is somewhere I've always wanted to go. And I'm excited to just explore and see a new place. I'm also... I know I'm saying excited so many times, but I'm excited to see the other creators and get to talk to them about what they've been doing in Milan because I've really only seen the one from London. So I'd like to hear about everyone else's days, but I'm packing up my room now and then leaving Milan so quickly. But um, this is my outfit. I have jeans on with this and I'm gonna go downstairs and eat some breakfast and drink some coffee and hopefully nap on the train. I think the train's like two hours. I love, 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 love the trains in Italy. They're one of my favorite things ever. Um, we had like a train pass when we were living here and we just would take them all the time. So I'm really looking forward to that. Right. Waiting for our train. Here's a little Hola, buongiorno. Hello. Hi, I am Ale, and now we are in the train station of Milano, and we are going to go to Venice. Mm. <laughs> Welcome to Venice. <laughs> Welcome to Venice. <laughs> First time. First time. With the bus. <laughs> All of us, actually. And first time, too. Mm -hmm. First impressions of Venice. First impressions, okay. We really like it. Clean. Yeah. Clean. 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 Good. Yeah. Because A lot of water. <laughs> A lot of sea. Yes. Yeah. And so full of people. Yeah. No, not, not so many. No. Yeah, right now. Cool. I mean, it's Wednesday. I don't know, mm. like. Really? It, path. Almost peace. Path. Peace. Peace. Like, yeah, it is kind relaxed, of calm. Like, yeah. It's kind of calm. I kind of expected it to be like more people. Okay. I just checked into my room. I'm going to give you guys a little room tour before I get all my stuff out. So you walk through the hallway and then 
this is my bedroom and the best part is there is a canal view and then i love the rooms because they all have these um yoga mats with avani on them and then had a little welcome note a workout towel and then i also got this like techno gym bag and it has like a mini gym inside of it i don't know how i'll take this home i don't even know if i'm supposed to take this home but it's like everything you need to work out in your room which is really cool we have lunch I need to look what time lunch is on our itinerary. Lunch is at 1.30, so that's about 30 minutes. That's really nice to give us a little break. I take off my shoes. I think I'm going to like lay down for 30 minutes because I'm kind of tired. I just got a coffee. Um, but yeah, I love the room. It's really beautiful. Venice is... I expect it to be like more crowded, honestly, but it's like quite not crowded, but it could just be the area that we're in. I have no concept of where I am right now. I need to figure out where like the most um, like touristy parts are. Cause that's probably where we'll go like on the gondola and stuff tomorrow. But um, yeah, I'm in Venice. It's really cool. I think I look very Italian today in my little collared shirt. So, yeah, let's have a little rest, a little siesta. Everyone um, on the Avani team is from Spain, so they're like, oh, you're gonna have a siesta. They're so cute. So yeah, I'm gonna do that now and then get ready to go down and eat lunch with the group. I'm switching outfits because I realized I had my jeans on yesterday and I don't wanna take pictures in the same pants. And I just also realized that I ordered these boots and I had two pairs of them and I gave the other pair to Katie and I brought two left boots. So that means she has two right boots. So these are completely useless. So that's awesome. A little nibbles. Gracias. The orange one should be our Okay, just finished lunch. And now I got my umbrella from the hotel and we're gonna do some exploring solo. I know it's raining, which isn't ideal, but I don't want to miss having a full day to explore Venice, so let's explore in the rain. Buongiorno, I am in my bed. It is... 9.51, I walked so long today. I barely vlogged because it was pouring rain, like so hard. It was enough to like have my phone out to navigate and hold the umbrella and I was just like, uh. But I had a really good day, even though it was raining. I wanted to explore, I didn't wanna like waste the day. So I went all over, I went to a really cute cafe called The Florian. It was so beautiful. It's like the oldest cafe in Venice. And then I did a little bit of shopping, which was fun. Did not have too much luck with the thrift stores and I was kind of disappointed by that, but it's whatever. Um, but yeah, I had a good day. It was like pretty much just like by myself all day. It was nice to just kind of like wander and do whatever I wanted and not be on like a schedule or have anything to do. So I did that. I came home, took a shower, washed my hair, skincare, all the things. And then I just ordered room service i got a pizza i feel kind of bad that i'm not going out to dinner because it's like i only have so many nights here but also i'm exhausted like everyone from the group is just hanging out at the hotel tonight so that's what i'm doing and yeah it was a good day and i'm excited for tomorrow i was supposed to do a running tour um at 7 a.m like a sunrise run and i didn't first of all like forgot to bring running shoes i didn't know that was on the itinerary and then it's also going to be raining in the morning so they canceled that so I have like a really chill, relaxed morning. And then we have the gondola ride, which is like the classic Venice thing at 10 a.m. And then we have like another free day and night. So really chill day tomorrow too. It's like my last full day in Venice tomorrow. This trip has gone so quickly. I mean, it's a really fast trip, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna have a cozy night in tonight and just enjoy the hotel. My room is so cozy, get eat some pizza and that's my night, so I'll check in with you guys in the morning. 
when we get ready for the day. Oh my gosh. I finally slept. I'm so happy. I slept like nine hours last night, which in comparison, the last couple nights I've slept like four. Oh, I feel so much better. I woke up at 4.30 and I was literally like, no, like this is not happening. Go back to sleep. I'm gonna get ready this morning. Have some breakfast. Ciao. I have not felt this put together this entire trip, so I'm really excited about this. I got this dress yesterday from Zara. I'm actually going to put you guys in here while I touch up my hair. But I literally have nowhere to hold my camera. It is still raining. I'm just gonna have to talk to you guys while I squat. Um, I just went downstairs and had breakfast. It's still raining. We have our gondola ride today. I was supposed to go do, oh my God, literally, I'm gonna get on, I'm literally on my knees right now. I was supposed to do a running tour this morning of Venice, but like I said, it's still raining, so that was canceled. So I ended up getting to join the foodie tour, which honestly, more ideal. Um, and I'm really excited, so I'm gonna do that this evening, but we have our gondola tour. Don't know how that's really gonna go in the rain. Like I wanna take sleigh photos, obviously, but it's, pouring rain so um i will be with some of the creators on this so at least i'll have people to help me take photos but i think it'll still be cute it'll be fun you know to like see venice by the water because that's like the only way to get around here unless you're gonna walk twenty-seven thousand steps like i did yesterday so i'm getting ready for that we're gonna meet in the lobby even though i slept so long yesterday i feel like more tired today um, especially after eating breakfast, but I'll just have to have 40 coffees and I'll be good to go. So let's go on the gondola tour. Getting ready for our gondola tour. It finally stopped raining. I hope it stops for the rest of the day or at least for the rest of our ride. Spoke too soon. Pouring rain, but it's kind of cute. I'm romanticizing it. Look at this Instagram versus reality. It's actually quite cute in the rain. finished the gondola tour even though it was raining it was actually quite nice I mean it was obviously like would have been better if it wasn't raining but it was cozy and like the water and we're romanticizing it um, but I thought it was really cool to see like all the different canals and side streets of Venice and yeah it was good so I just came to get a cappuccino because I'm trying to find a lunch spot and I walked in the number one rated rated lunch spot and it like wasn't a vibe and so I left and came here but then I looked at the reviews here and they weren't that great so I'm gonna go back to the number one rated lunch spot and try it and see top rated pasta spot in Venice I got the spaghetti bolognese look at that perfect finally found a lamp that holds my camera I wonder if people of Venice would like shoot me if I said I thought it was kind of mid. It was really pretty spaghetti, but it was... I feel like when I lived... I feel like I can say that I think pasta is mid because when I lived in Florence, I tried like so many restaurants and I've had like the best pasta ever in my opinion. So I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't order the right thing. It was like really good and it was... Definitely the like warm meal I was looking for after being on the boat because I was freezing. Um, but yeah, it was good. It wasn't like the best thing ever, but it was good. I feel like I need to go run around and explore, but also it's so rainy still and 
I literally walked so long yesterday, so I might just take some time to like rest and do work in the room and then gear up for the foodie tour and then I think we're doing a big dinner tonight and maybe like going out a little bit. So I'll have plenty of time to like roam around today. But I think for now I'm just gonna like get cozy and rest for a minute because I'm so cold from the boat ride. Okay, new OOTD. Top, this skirt I got from Zara yesterday. And my boots, I just finished filming a little workout video for the hotel. And I have talked my way onto the foodie tour today um, because I didn't get to do my morning run. So I'm like getting ready really quickly and we're gonna go do that. It's a Ch Chiquetti tour, Chiquetti tour. I don't know, I think it's like a popular food in Venice. Okay, I just threw my hair in a little braid, but <sighs> yeah, I will report back with more information about Chiquetti because I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm doing this afternoon. It's five actually. I slept for two hours. I took a two hour nap um, and then went and did the workout. So we've been moving. So let's go on the food tour and eat. I'm still kind of full, so I need to like walk that off because I want to eat a lot. Of Venice, we entered for other 40 years under the control of the Austrians. And the Austrians were used to drink beer in their country, not wine. Their wine were very strong. For them. Mm -hmm. so, and let me see this, I don't know. Okay, that is longer to obtain it. I think three wine. years in tank. Everyone does this at the same time of the day. Good morning, Venice. It's so early. It's like 6.40 right now. I honestly like didn't sleep well last night. Like I was up for like an hour and a half in the middle of the night, but it's not too bad because I'm flying out today. And so... If I didn't sleep as good, that just means I'll sleep on the flight, so that's fine. Um, I'm leaving the hotel at 7.15 and going to the airport, and then I'm flying to Finland, connecting in Finland, and then flying to LA. So today's going to be a bitch of a travel day. It's going to be 16 hours. I mean, compared to 35 that I did to get here, it's quick, but maybe I'll vlog my travel day home since I didn't vlog my travel day here um but i'm packing up right now packing up my room this went way too fast but i'm ready to go home i'm excited to be back in my home and see all my people and yeah it's been a pleasure italy as always and um had a great time so let's get my bags together let's go downstairs i think we'll take a water taxi to the airport so that'll be fun um Let's go home. Okay. Just got to my layover in um, Finland. And I've never really heard of Finland, like, to be honest. That probably sounds stupid. But, like, I've heard of it, but I've never, like, heard of people really going. This airport is the cutest airport I've ever seen in my entire life. I just got this, like, iced coffee at a coffee shop it's like pink and covered in flowers and then it has a thrift store next to it so like vintage shopping in the airport and there's all of these stores and like all these restaurants it is so beautiful I've been like walking around filming on my phone otherwise I would film more on my camera I'll try to take a couple clips but it's so cute but the first flight was like a little under three hours and it was fine next one to LA is 11 yeah so that's what we're looking at right now, but I have like two hours in Finland, so it's been nice to like, eat and then I'm gonna get some snacks and head to my gate. Hi, um, vibe change. So I'm home. Honestly, just like did not have it in me to vlog most of my travel day. I know I like vlogged briefly in Finland, but yesterday was so long. Oh my gosh, it was three hours to Finland, Venice to Finland. 11 Finland to LA and then in LA I ubered to the train station waited for like two hours and then took a two-hour train to San Diego so it was just like the longest 
day of my life and I just like couldn't bring myself to vlog. Um, but I'm home. I'm back in San Diego. I'm so happy to be back. I just laid by the pool. I'm unpacking my bags and I'm excited to edit this vlog. So I'm going to bring it to a close because I want to start editing it and just share my Italy journey with you guys. So if you've gotten to this point, thank you for watching and I will see you guys all in my next video. Ciao! <laughs>